In this video, I want to take a look at another popular node, uh, the CSV node. Um, CSV standing for Common Separated Values. And this node will take a JavaScript object and convert it to, into a, a Common Separated Value. And you can save that to a file and it will do vice versa. It will take a, uh, a CSV value, usually taken from a file, and convert it into a JavaScript object. Before we take a look at the actual flow, I want to show you a CSV file. Now, this is a keyword uh, research file, and you can see here it's got the, the header at the top. This is the format of it, so we have a header, and we have the data underneath. So the keyword is MQTT, the average monthly searches is 1K to 10K, and the competition is 0 0.03, and the suggested bid is 1.09. Uh, makes no difference what file we're looking at, this is the format. Now, I rem remember I said it was uh, common separated values. You can separate them with any delimiter. This one is actually a tab. So usually with uh, CSV tools you get a, an option whether you uh, the delimiter is a comma, whether it's a space, whether it's a tab etc. You get to select it and I'll show you that when we actually look at the flow. So this is the structure. The structure is the first line is a header line and followed by the the data. Now you don't have to have the header there but it's actually, it's actually quite normal. So let's go ahead and look at the the flow. So here's the flow and the first thing I want to show you is how to read uh, a CSV file into Node-RED and we're just going to display it using the debug node. So we've got an inject node here and it doesn't matter what this injects in there, it just kicks the process off which goes into a file node which reads the data from a file and the data I'm going to read is what I've just showed you and then it passes into, into a CSV node which converts the CSV file into a JavaScript object and we'll see that in the debug node here. So let's take a look at the CSV node and remember the node will convert from a JavaScript object to CSV and from CSV to a JavaScript object so the configuration for both conversions is in the in the same node so if we open up the node then the configuration we're interested in is here CSV to object options and we can skip the first row if we want to and we're going to tick this box here, the first row contains the column names because it does, I showed you the data and we're going to output one message per row and that's all we need to configure and when we click done and then we deploy it now when we run it, it reads the data from the file, passes it into the CSV, converts it into an object and displays it in a debug and we can see here it's read all of the file in. If I want to, I'm going to show you the, the data, so we go to the top of the file, and you can see here it's output the message, the format of the message is the actual header followed by the data, and all of the messages are the, look the same, header followed by the data. And you can see the data here, MQT 1K, 10K, 1 to 10K, sorry, 0 0.3, 1.09, and that corresponds to the first row of data in our file here. So let's go on to storing data in CSV format and this is probably the most common application where we take data coming in, we're going to take it coming in from MQTT and we're going to store that data in a CSV format into a file so here's a input data, pass it on to a JSON node which converts the JSON formatted data into a JavaScript object. We pass that into a CSV node. The CSV node will then convert that JavaScript object into CSV formats and then we pass it into the file node which stores the data. Now for this demo I'm going to use a Python uh, script which is uh, simulating a house and it's going to send the status of um, the house it's going to send the status of the lights and the, and the doors and this is the script running and here you can see it here it's publishing the status of the outside light the main door the main light and the back door and that's it so we should be able to see that data coming into our flow to configure our CSC node we need to know the names that we're using here 
and we're using the name outside lights we're using main door and we're using main light and back door and we need to need to use these as the header for the csv file now i can see them here because i'm looking at the script if you don't have access to that then you just simply take the debug node and pass the mqtd data into the debug node and deploy it and you see coming down here so you can take the names so let me remove that quickly and now we can go ahead and edit the csv file we need to put the header names in here and i've cheated and i've created the a little lion here so i can just copy and paste it and we put it in there and that's going to form the header for our data now if we go further down here this is the object of csv options we can either include the column name which is included in the data that we see if we put it in the debug node or we can not include the column name so i'm not going to include the column name in this one and i'll show you what happens when we include the column name so we're done there let's put a debug node in here so we can actually see remove that one now what's happening before it, so this is basically what's going to be passed on to the file and I'll show you the file it creates later and now we can deploy it and you can see the data coming in here it doesn't show the header it just shows the actual data itself now the way the the actual sensor Python sensor works is that it's controllable so I have to control it externally so let me just send the sensor a command to turn the light on I'm just going to turn the main light on and you can see that the main light goes on now let me just show you the effect of including the header in there so we're going to go down here and we're going to include, include the column name in there and we're going to go done and clear that and deploy it and you can see here each message has the outside light main door main light back door and the status there and we see it in each message and that will get stored like that so we'd see each message being stored like that no it's not normal to store um, the header with every uh, bit of data it's normal to store just the data and with the header at the top now because you can't do that with these these nodes what you do or what I would do is I would just store the data and I wouldn't store the column names like that you can always add the, the header to the file manually uh, before you read it in and if you're using uh, node red to read it in then you'd use the columns here on the inputs this works for the input as well as the output so if I left this and I configured the input node uh, like I showed you earlier it would use these values instead of the values in the the actual file itself and this is what the file looks like that I, I'm saving you can see the data here and notice there's no header here I would have to insert this header manually at the top which I can do because remember I copied it over into a notepad and I just copy and I paste it up here just like that okay so that's a quick look at the node red CSV node and how to read data from a file using the node and how to save data into a file using the node. so it brings us to the end of the video and if you've got any comments on the video then please leave them below if you like the video then you can click the like button below and if you want to get notified of new videos then you can always subscribe to the channel and if you do use social media and like to share it then please feel free and until next time goodbye